Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Chamath Pali Hapatia. I'm a 1999 um, graduate in electrical engineering. Uh, I uh, am really excited and proud of all of you guys as you're about to um, graduate from Waterloo and start your, um, what is your adult life? Um, but I wanted to take a step back and tell you about the moment and um, frankly, how important you are. Um, these last few months, I don't think anybody could have written. If you had asked a screenwriter in Hollywood to go and spend years um, or uh, you know, some of the best authors in the world to spend years imagining um, what could have been some of the craziest series of circumstances and events, um, none of them would have come back with the narrative that we've all lived out together. Um, and if anything, what I would tell you is that you're graduating in a moment where you are the most important you've ever been. And what I mean by that is that we are a world that's at a crossroads and that crossroads is really um, about an entire generation of people who need to frankly um, make their way and step aside for you. Um, and why do I say that? It's because what we really have at this point in time is an incredibly complicated world that's defined by completely different worldviews. You know, if you ask your friends um, what it means to have a friend who's a person of color or minority or black, you wouldn't think anything of it. Gay, you wouldn't think anything of it. Um, if you ask somebody in their 40s, uh, most people wouldn't think anything, anything of it. If you ask somebody in their 70s and 80s, all of a sudden people have something to say. Um, and it's not to take anything away from them and it doesn't make them bad people, but it does make you incredibly important in this moment in time. Um, if societies are to thrive, they require um, us to transition power um, and to transition opportunity from the old to the young. And that's how we've survived as a human race. That's how the world has progressed. That's how all these incredible things that we live with every day have been invented by folks that are older making way for the naivety and zeal and energy and vitality of young people. And so we're in a moment right now that is so complicated that the only way it gets figured out is because people like you take the helm. And so what does it mean? I think the first thing is that independent of whatever degree you have and however smart or not smart you may think you are, what I need to impress upon you is that you have a level of moral and ethical clarity that is completely different from the generations above you. And the most important thing is to never change that. It is easy as you get older, as you get better jobs, as you make more money to become a sell-up. Um, I've almost fallen prey to that many times in my life. It's easy to forget where you came from. It's easy to become part of the majority. It's easy to become part of a system that reinforces prejudice or systemic bias than it is to fix it. But the way that you fix it is that you stay true to who you are and you never forget all the things that you live through and the, frankly, the beliefs that you have about the equality that exists in the world or that should exist. We're living in a point in time where there is so much that needs to get built, so many things that need to get invented, so many problems that need to get solved, and they don't happen, frankly, without your leadership. Um, I have never been more excited about the future direction of the world. And I know that that may seem crazy if you open the paper or you know, read a blog or um, watch the news, but it's true. And the reason is because the number of young people is just so enormous. The way that you think, the beliefs that you have, the time is now for you to basically take over. And so I suspect that you will enter a job market that initially may be difficult or treacherous. Um, you're entering a political environment that's really um, crazy, frankly. Um, a social environment that uh, may seem confounding and confusing to us. Um, but the pendulum is swings towards justice and uh, the pendulum swings towards young people. And um, you guys represent the best of what society can be right now. 
So if I had to give you a message um, as you graduate and start living your life as an adult is that we desperately need you. You need to show up. You need to believe what you believe and you need to believe it strongly and stronger than anything else you've ever believed. And if you do those things, the problems that we see today get fixed. If you don't do those things, the generations behind you will look at you and think, what were you doing when you were called to action? The reality is there's just not enough 40 and 50 and 60 year olds to overcome the gerontocracy that runs the world right now. But there are a lot of 20 and 30 year olds who are ready and prepared. Um, you're joining that class. And I would just encourage you to make sure that you channel the life you've lived, the experiences that you've had, that have shaped the beliefs you carry and never change, no matter how successful or unsuccessful, no matter how much happiness or tragedy comes between now and as you grow older, never, ever, ever change or forget the things that made you, you. And the things that you have loved, make sure other people can feel those. The things that you've resented, make sure you fix them so nobody else has to suffer. And if you do that as a byproduct of how you live your life from here on out, you will have done an incredible, incredible thing. And today will mark the first day of that journey. Um, that took me a long time to realize. It wasn't the obvious thing for me. I thought that my job was you know, to get a job, to make money for my family, um, to try to survive. And in many ways it was. Um, but 20 years later, what I can tell you is it was what I'm telling you now that matters the most. And um, when you look at the paper 10 years from now or 20 years from now, and things have changed because they will, I really hope you look at it and you say, I was a small part of that because of the way that I thought. And maybe your actions don't necessarily manifest those. Maybe you don't feel comfortable, you know, showing up at a protest. Maybe not. Um, but you can intellectually fight, even if you're not going to be there physically at all the time. Um, and that's the most important thing right now. The world needs you. Um, we need you to set a better example. Um, and so I hope you guys have a great day and celebrate what is an incredibly momentous moment in your life. Um, but think about the things that you care about. Um, write them down. Um, sear them into your mind and never, ever change those beliefs.